Hey yo everyone, so one of my boys on my discord sent me this telling me that there's a 3D Terraria post on the reddit and I saw this and I was like hold up I gotta see this for myself. Now usually when you see things like this you know you just see like models and stuff little 3D models maybe even like a little rendered scene or something but this I was blown away when I clicked on this. So yeah we're here on the Terraria reddit and let's go ahead let's read the uh the OP post and just see everything here. Hi everyone thanks for checking this out for slightly more than half a year I've been working on this hobby project and there are currently two bosses king slime and i cthulhu there's a building system and a tree cutting one right now it's really early development but when in time it releases it'll obviously be free for everyone more info should come soon but hope this look cool to somebody if anyone wants to follow the game's progresses here's where trailers might get posted might be a little inconsistent but hopefully i can push another update within next week anyways have a great day oh by the way did i mention there's gonna be multiplayer too hold up yeah there's a lot of comments and i'm sure the uh, original poster replied to a bunch of them so if you guys want to read through that go ahead but let's check out the video man let's check out this video i'm gonna be playing it in like this screen i guess as you can see i've been watching some moist critical <laughs> but yeah i'm gonna play it in this screen i don't want to full screen it because i'm scared of youtube copyright claim visual claim that hit my second channel recently because i was just playing dying light and it got visually copyright claimed somehow just for playing the same game as people but yeah 3d line here's the channel let's watch this video i got the volume up let's watch it Now this, this looks crazy. <laughs> this is literally 3D Terraria. And you see him whipping out the gun. Oh, he died right there. We got the slimes. We got the guns. He's got the space gun out. Ooh, that's a way better noise than, uh, you know, the current one. <laughs> Look at that skeleton. That boy got moved. He got a step. That boy got some swagger in his step. Damn. I'm trying to be like that skeleton. Not like, not like the dead part though. Yeah, this looks really cool. This looks super ambitious and I love it. You know that we're always wanting more from Terraria. So to have like a legit 3D Terraria somebody's working on is insane. But yeah, if we go to their channel, as we can see 3D line, they got 3D models that they've been working on in the past. So they got more than enough experience when it comes to stuff like this. If you guys want to go ahead and watch these videos, they're pretty cool. Oh, oh look, copyright check. Look, look at this. We got the probes. We got the destroy. Whew. Look, imagine battling that thing in a 3D Terraria. That's crazy. But yeah, I saw this. Look dope. Check out the video. I'm linking everything in the description in the comment section. This is cool. I'm hyped to see this. I wanted to spread the word as soon as I saw it. Just to, you know, have some love be shown to the person, the people, if there's multiple people working on it. I think it might just be one person. But go and show that love, man. Because this, this is going to be dope if this comes out. And it's going to be all free. And there's going to be multiplayer. Like already Valheim, Rust type vibes. You know what I'm saying? Valheim, that's a great game too. But yeah, since we're here on the Terraria Reddit, you know, I might as well check out some posts on here. I come on here every now and then. I don't want to really start a series of checking out the Terraria Reddit because, you know, I would just just get berated and yelled at in the comments that i'm copying other people for example chippy and that's just what we got to deal with you know the terraria community can be very very toxic sometimes so you know oh well yeah i tried my best to get away from the toxic parts but it's just what happens god forbid somebody do the same video as somebody else right but yeah let's check out uh I don't, I don't even know how to do this we, we do top we do hot i think we do hot and then we sort by like all time is probably one of the best ways to do it all right here we go top and let's do let's do top this month instead of all time actual terraria housing guy let me look at this because there be some times in terraria where i try to build like a nice house but then like terraria will be like this is not suitable housing because one block is like this and it's like what but then i look at all of these and all of these are suitable houses <laughs> but if my if my home is a little too big like sometimes i want to like sometimes i want to build a house in a living wood tree the leave area and then the game is like this is too big like what the hell do you mean the house is too big there's people that live in mansions irl <laughs> But look at this. This thing looks like a bunny. And this is suitable housing. Some way, somehow, this dude has like one block to walk and then <laughs> everything else is diagonal. I mean, this would be suitable housing for like a worm or something. This is cool that this is considered a door, just one platform. For some reason, this is also suitable. <laughs> <laughs> no walls like literally five walls and then just open space in the background uh you could turn off the torch that's pretty funny the chair table is trapped 
but still counts as a house. This one too. Got the nice spikes and lava in there. Nice and suitable. I like the creativity in this one. We got the toilet. We got the fish. One of the fish in here. The glowing jellyfish, I think. And then we got a nice alchemy table. <laughs> counts as a house, of course. So this gives me some more ideas when I make houses in the future. All right, what else we got? Damn bitch you live like this this is actually low-key like when you play multiplayer with the boys this is how the house be <laughs> pull up pull up the picture of uh me and ryan's house when we did the uh noob and veteran run of 1.4 like this is legit our house was looking like shambles but we made it work it was a place we called home shout out to animated dives gotta be one of my favorite genders Tavaria would be like Terraria do be like that, though. That's the crazy thing. You ever see those flying fish pull up while it's raining? You got your boomerang on you? It's go time. Not gonna lie, it's really hard not letting this update feature creep into 1.5. If y'all saw my tweet, nobody would be mad if a 1.5 was on the way. I promise you. 1.4, that might have taken forever to come out, but I promise you nobody will be mad if you tell everyone you're working on a 1.5. Here we go. We got the most efficient crafting station. This is from Gromic. Which, if y'all don't know Gromic, check out their videos. Good videos. That's the videos where the veterans take on master mode, take on for the worthy. Great videos. But this does look super efficient. You got a lot of storage. You know, you got the vault over here. You got the piggy bank. I believe this is also a vault you can put stuff in. All the chests around you. Nice. I don't, how the hell is this even working? You can really put, like, stuff on top of each other like that. Like, that chair is straight up floating. See, if this isn't facts right here, like, this is 100%. Who doesn't do this? I hope if they do, like, a 1.5, I hope they do a big overhaul of the uh, hard mode ores. Give you, like, more of a reason to actually have to get them. And make it a different way to get them instead of mining. I feel like it's such a slowdown of progression when you get to hard mode and you gotta mine all these ores again. Like, that's not fun. We did that already. Why would we want to do that again? Hold up. Red Digit? Terraria 2? A New Age? Hold up. Nah, he's teasing. He's teasing us. Why would an NPC move into my house? Is this Spore? <laughs> Is this a picture of Spore? We got the Unreal Meat Beater. I think this would be a great addition to 1.5. Here we go. We got a cool little video right here. Get ready to explore the C map Endless Escapade mod. Let's see it. I'm actually scared to play the music. Is it regulatory music? I don't know. I might get copyrighted. <laughs> oh my. This is this is a Terraria mod? Oh my. This is beautiful. <laughs> this don't this doesn't even look like Terraria. This looks like any other game but Terraria. See, I'm just noticing those are birds and not like a group of planes. I don't know why I thought they were planes. They, they kind of look like planes. But that that's cool. That's cool. I think I actually do follow their Twitter. I think. Or I've liked one of their posts on Twitter. Because I swear I've seen something about this. Same thing with the Spirit Mod. I know the Spirit Mod is working on expanding the uh, ocean part of Terraria. Which is nice. Because in 1.4 they kind of added that like little like chasm under the ocean that can spawn sometimes. And then that's it. There's not really much to it. And look at this. If you guys ever want to hoik through the dungeon. Honestly this is very useful. Because like say you're doing a summoner playthrough. And you really need that bewitching table early. And you see one that you could get to. You might as well hoik into the dungeon. Grab that before you die. All right, with that said, I, I think I had to end off the uh, Terraria Reddit little mini video here. <laughs> but yeah, again, if you guys want to check out these posts, hit up the Terraria Reddit. And of course, the main thing we saw today was this, the Terraria 3D thing. Check it out. Give them some support. Show them some love. I'll see y'all next time.